In this video, I'm going to show you how to add another nice feature to your Family Guy Jigsaw puzzle in Adobe Flash. If you remember from last lesson, we had four pieces in our puzzle, and we added some code to make it a simple drag and drop game, where you could pick up the pieces, drag them around, and just drop them inside the frame there to put the puzzle together. Now, one thing you might have noticed as you're putting the puzzle together, they don't snap into position, and it's quite hard to actually get all these pieces lined up in the exact location they should be. Okay, it does take a little bit of fiddling around. As you can see here, I've got some little white gaps between their faces. Some of the lines don't meet up, like over here. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is have a look at getting these pieces of the jigsaw puzzle to snap into position. Okay, so I'm just going to close this off now. You need to open in Flash your jigsaw from the first tutorial. Okay, it should be looking something like this. Before we get underway, you do need to make sure that you've got the coordinates, the X and Y values of each piece in your jigsaw puzzle. Now I did this in the last tutorial, so I hope you did as well. So for piece 1, 2, 3 and 4, you can see I've written down the X and Y values. If you haven't done that, you need to do that now. Simply click on the first piece of your puzzle and look over in the properties panel for the X and Y values. Write them down. Do the same for the second piece. Write down the x and y values, the third and the fourth piece. We are going to be use those, we are going to be using those values quite a bit in this tutorial, so make sure we do that before we get underway underway today. Once you have done that, we're going to make a new layer. Okay, so first of all, just lock the other three layers that you've already got there. Make sure actions is on top, and we're going to go down to the pieces layer and just create a new layer above that. We will rename it to Targets. Okay, what we're going to make on our stage in this tutorial is some little targets. So when we drop our pieces of the jigsaw puzzle on top of these targets, they will snap into position. Okay, you'll see what that means exactly as the tutorial goes on. Okay, once you've made the layer targets, we're going to go across to our toolbox and pick up the rectangle tool. Just select a stroke and fill color make sure your stroke is set to size one hold shift and draw a little square on your page it's going to look something like that one with your black arrow just select all of that go to your modify menu and convert that shape to a symbol we want to give this shape the name target underscore mc the mc stands for movie clip that's the type it's going to be. The registration point is smack bang in the middle of that square. So let's click OK once you've made that target MC. While you've got that still selected, hop on over to your properties box here and give it an instance name. We're going to call this one target1 underscore MC. We're just going to move that down somewhere near the um, first jigsaw piece at the moment. We're going to get that into position shortly. The next thing we want to do is pop onto our library panel over here and you'll see that we've got the target MC in our library. We need to drag that onto the stage three more times, so we've got one for each jigsaw piece. Okay, so let's do the second one now. This is the second jigsaw piece, so we'll drag that onto the second jigsaw piece there and give it the name target2 underscore MC. We'll get the third piece, drag it down to the third piece of the puzzle. We'll call it target3 underscore MC. And finally, we get the fourth piece and drag it onto the fourth piece of the puzzle. We'll call it target4 underscore MC. Okay, so we've now got target1, 2, 3, and 4 on our stage. We do need to get these now in the middle of the jigsaw pieces. And the way we can do that is simply click on the first target to begin with and use these X and Y values as its position. So I'm just going to copy and paste these X and Y values and press enter. And that's now in the middle of that first piece of the jigsaw. For piece 2, I'll just copy and paste these in. That one's done. For target 3, we'll get the piece 3 coordinates. We'll drop them into position, and the last one is target 4. There we go. So we've got our 
four targets now in position on our page okay, we don't need to do anything else right now so we're going to lock that targets layer into place once those targets are in place we're going to unlock the pieces layer so click on the little padlock next to pieces there and that gives us access back to our pieces in the jigsaw puzzle what I'd like you to do first of all is open piece one so to do that so we can edit it is double click on piece one and it opens up just this piece so we can do a bit of work to it now the first thing we want to do is go down to layer one and we're going to give it a name piece this is the piece of the puzzle we're going to lock that into place we'll also make a new layer above that and call it target again so there's the word target and just like we did back on the previous um, scene one there we're going to draw a little box on another little target I'm going to change the colors this time so it looks a little bit different the bigger this target the easier it's going to be for your users to do this jigsaw so don't make them too big you want to give them a slight challenge once you've made that target just highlight it for me okay, I'm going to convert it to a symbol press F8 or go to your modify menu and we're just going to call this one tar underscore MC okay, it's still a target we'll just shorten the name down a bit it's a movie clip center registration point click OK, okay what we're going to do this time instead of just writing the coordinates to get it in the center of this jigsaw piece we're going to do it a quicker way we're going to come over to this align tab here make sure align to stage is checked we're going to press the second button which is align horizontal center and we're also going to press this one over here, Align Vertical Center. And that puts our little target in the middle of the jigsaw piece. Pretty much exactly where our original one was back on scene one. Okay. One other thing you need to do is give this little target an instance name. So in your properties box up there, we want to call it tar1 underscore mc. That's all we need to do on um, the first piece of the jigsaw. We'll go back to scene one now. Okay, and we'll go over to the second piece of the jigsaw and do the same thing. So we'll rename layer 1 to piece, lock it into place, make another new layer called targets. Now this time from your library, you'll notice that we've got tar MC already created, so we'll drag that onto our page and we'll give it the name tar2 underscore MC. And let's just align that horizontally and vertically in the center of the jigsaw piece. We can go back to scene one now, double click on the third button. Okay, we'll go back to our library and drag another tar MC over. Give it the name tar3 underscore MC and align it horizontally and vertically. Back to scene one last uh, one last time and we'll go into the fourth button. Okay, from your library, drag the tar MC. Oh, drag the tar. Oh, we didn't give that a name. Forgot about that. We'll call it piece. Target. Now we can drag it on. Give it the name tar four underscore MC. And we'll just align it horizontally and vertically. Okay. One thing I think I missed on this third one here, I forgot to make a new layer so I'll quickly go back and cut that out and make a new layer for the target to go on, I'll just paste it in place there we go, whoops, I forgot to give that layer a name okay so we should be good to go now if I drag one of these pieces off you will see that our target remains there and we've also got our target on our piece of the puzzle okay so that's looking good so far we're nearly done now we need to do the code now so what we want to happen as we're dragging these pieces of the puzzle into position if those targets hit one another we want our target to snap into place okay it's not just going to involve this little fiddling around to get in the right spot as soon as those targets meet we'll say that's close enough and we'll make this jigsaw fall the jigsaw piece fall into place <clears throat> so what I need you to do is get your actions box up I just pressed F9 to bring up my actions panel I'm going to unlock the actions layer so I can actually put some code in here 
Now the first bit of code you need on the actions layer I've just written already so I'm going to copy and paste this and you need to copy this word for word I'll show you where it goes if we look in our actions panel we look for the code for piece one and we scroll down a little bit until we see this piece one stop drag okay we're gonna go just below that so just in here I'm gonna press control V to paste in my new code which is this section here make sure you copy that word for word use capital letters where I've used them put in spaces where I've used them if you get exactly right you should be able to get your jigsaw working the only thing that's going to be different on yours is the coordinates of the X and Y values here okay this is for piece one you need to make sure that you put in the X and Y values okay, you want that piece one to snap exactly into place which is those values or those coordinates just there okay so let's give this a test run now I'll press control enter just to give it a test I'll just move this off the page for a sec so if I move this in as these targets meet we should see this piece snap into position bang there it goes so that's pretty easy I'm going to copy that code now and I'm going to paste it into the other sections of code so here's piece 2 I'll paste that in what I need to change now in this piece of code it's going to be target 2 piece 2 tar 1 piece 2 piece 2 okay and we've got to change these x and y coordinates to piece 2 so it's got those coordinates that should be piece 2 working copy that again and go down to piece 3 now put it into place. So I'll change all the twos to threes and put in the new coordinates for piece three. And finally we'll do piece four. I'll just pause the video while I do that and come back in just a moment. Okay, so you can see my piece 4 code has been written in now. If we test this out quickly, I'll just drag these pieces off the stage for a moment. And as those targets meet one another, these pieces should fall into position. Perfect. Okay, last thing we want to do now to make our animation look good is just remove these targets so we can't see them. Okay, so the way to do that, just unlock the targets layer, click on the target, Go over to your color effect panel here and change the alpha to 0%. It just makes it transparent. Okay, and do that for each of the targets. Shouldn't take long. Now as we did that, you can see that the targets on each individual piece are shining through. And we're going to do the same for them. So I'm going to go into piece 1, click on the target and change the alpha to 0. Piece 2. Whoops. change the alpha to zero piece three click on the target change the alpha to zero piece four double click on the target whoops click on the target sorry change the alpha to zero okay so that's made all our targets invisible but they're actually still there so I'll just move these pieces off again and as you can see as we bring them into place they'll still snap in when they get pretty close to their spot Okay, last thing you want to do, you want these pieces to start off out of the page a bit. You might even want to jumble them up a little just to make it a bit confusing for your user. Okay, now when they start doing the puzzle, it will be all jumbled up. It's going to be a bit harder for them to put together. Okay, so you've got to move it around. Eventually it'll snap into position. There you have it. That's how we make a jigsaw puzzle with snapping pieces. Just save that now as jigsaw number two. We're done.